Hello, welcome to Computer Science class. This is Topic 6, Resource Management. For assessment statement and assessment objectives, please check out your IB guidebook. This topic related to the topic to computer organization, which we learned already. Let's talk about the computer architecture, secondary memory and operating systems, and application systems. Please remember all these resources. Maybe you need in your final examination, the IB question. OK, let's get started. How operating system works? When you turn on your computer, it's nice to think that you are in control. There is a trusted computer mouse, which you can move anywhere on the screen. Some morning up your music library or internet browser as the slightest whim. Also, it's easy to feel like a director in front of your desktop or a laptop. There's a lot going on inside, and the real man behind the curtain handling the necessary task is the operating system. So now, can you tell me some functions which you think are handled by operating system? Yes, input output management, device driver, memory management, CPU management, hardware management. Let's get a review of the machine instruction cycle. The CPU, RAM, you can see the database, the data through the database, decode, and output. So now, please tell me the four stage of machine instruction cycle. If you don't know that, check out our poster. Primary memory. What device do you think use memory? Computer. Yes. Anything else? Air conditioned washing machine. As you can see in the diagram here, the CPU access memory according to the distinct hierarchy, whether it comes from the um, permanent storage, the hard disk, or input the keyboard. Most of the data goes in the random access memory, RAM. The CPU then stores the piece of data we will need to access often in the cache. Cache. And uh, maintains certain uh, special instructions in the CPU register. Secondary storage. Computers uh, computers have two types of the storage system: uh, primary storage and secondary storage. Primary storage or um, memory is directly connected to the motherboard and is a place where programs and the data are kept will being used. Secondary storage is the place where software and the data are kept when not in use. Some individuals use the term memory to refer to both memory and storage, but we will use different term on the uh, on our IB, IB exam. So memory is uh, volatile, means that when the power is of the memory, Cells are empty. Secondary storage is non volatile or um, permanent, means that when the power is off, that is content are still there. Processor speed. Using multi core processors. Quad core is much better for multi uh, multitasking individuals, and a dual core is best for those mm, that need a little extra power but don't usually do a heavy 
uh, bandwidth using the applications like uh, video games. And how is processor speed determined? There are plenty of programs out there that can help you determine a processor speed if your PC isn't marked. And higher isn't always better. You need a balanced and well-rounded PC for the processor speed to actually make a significant difference. Keep up with technology. It means sometimes keep, uh, keeping up with the technology is always better investment than buying a new one. And please know that price isn't everything. Find what you want and choose the best one for you. Research your processor speed options. A good computer will last a while, but uh, not always worth the investment. Bandwidth is the difference between the upper and the lower frequencies in a continuous set of the frequencies. It's topically measured in hertz and may sometimes refer to the passband uh, bandwidth, sometimes to band band bandwidth, depends on the content. I post on the website a link. I post a link on the website. You can check out if you want to have the more information about this. Screen solution. Screen resolution. Screen resolution is the number of the pixels. The image on your computer screen is built up from thousands or millions of pixels. The screen creates the image you see by changing the colors of these tiny square elements. Different size, same screen resolution. Okay, now it's uh, start getting a little more complicated. A screen that are different size can still have the same screen resolution. For instance, your laptop could have a 13-inch screen with a resolution of 1280 times 800. And you could have a 17-inch monitor on your desk with the same 1280 times 800 resolution. In this example, also the monitor on your desk is large. You won't actually be able to fix anything extra on it. The total, uh, the total number of the pixel is the same, just uh, everything looks uh, uh, a bit bigger. So what higher resolution means? If you're comparing two screen of the same size but with different resolutions, the screen with a higher resolution, uh, that's the one with the more pixels, will be able to show you more of what you're working on, so you don't have to uh, scroll so much. And please know that it's not just about the resolution. When you are choosing a new computer or a display, don't let yourself be guided by screen resolution alone. Brightness and color representation can vary across screens. So the best way to choose it is to sit down in front of the screen and see if you like it. Disk storage. From this picture, you can see the different colors. A, the truck, this pink one. And B, the sector uh, with the fan shape. C, it's block. It's a between. It's a part of the truck and the sector. And D is an example of a file which uh, saved on the disk. So, capacity, capacity of the disk. So how can we know that? It's a number of the surface. You know the disk always have more than one uh, layer. So we use the number of the surfaces and the times the number of the trucks times the number of the sectors per truck and the times the number of the bytes to sector. And also there are four terms that you need to know. Six time, the time taken for read write. Uh, 
latency the time waiting for the desired sector to spin into place transfer time get data in to the CPU access time seek time plus latency plus transfer time sound processor sounds and computer's data are fundamentally different sounds are analog they are made of waves that travel through matter people hear sounds when their waves physically vibrate their ear drums computers however communicate digitally using the elect uh, electrical impulse that represents zero and one The most basic sound card is a printed circuit board that uses four components to uh, translate analog and digital information. Uh, AD converter, a DA converter, and ISA, or PCI interface, and input-output connection for the microphone or, um, and the speaker, uh, speakers. Uh, Graphic graphics processor. Okay, processor is a GPU. Okay, a graphic card job is complex, but its the principle and the components are easy to understand. GPU, a graphic card processor. Normally, we call the GPU graphics uh, processing unit, just like a CPU in the computer. However, it's designed especially for. Uh, performing the complex mathematics and uh, geometric calculations that are necessary for graphic rendering. So the, the fan for coding the GPU just like a CPU fan. And the memory. More memory can get a faster rendering. And the port for connecting to the monitor, projector. The connection, connection to the motherboard are usually through one of the three interfaces uh, PCI, uh, peripheral components interconnect, uh, AGP, advanced graphic, uh, graphic, graphic part, and the PCI Express. Okay, three. Catch, very small piece of the memory in our computer, but it's very, very fast. So, catches are designed to elevate this. Uh, bottleneck by making the data use um, most often by the CPU instantly available available. So normally the L1 inside the CPU uh, and the L2 is outside between the RAM and the CPU. Network connected uh, network connectivity connect uh, connect medium we will talk about we talk about a lot in our um, topic three and uh, network. So hardware that we use the in network like uh, cable, hub, AP access point, a router, and so on. And OSS seven layers is the uh, open systems interconnection model. Uh, physical layer, data lake linear, network layer, transport layer, uh, session layer, presentation layer, and application layer. Okay, so for others, the network security and internet uh, and uh, intranet, you need to review on the topic three, on topic three network part. Okay, uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.